everyone. In this message, Apostle Joshua Selman explains to people why they should pursue their purpose and what God has in store for them. And instead of rolling around, chasing all the things that is assumed to be purpose, they should focus on what God has called them to do. This message is going to bless you tremendously. Enjoy. Behold, I like that statement. When he now says, remember ye not the former things. Now that he's brought you to a point where you've been detached to yesterday, its success, the crowns, and the pains, the failures all together. He now says, behold. The word behold is a very powerful word. Behold means see with the eyes of your spirit. Behold means conceive as a reality what I want to tell you. Behold means let me have your rapt attention. Now that you have been distracted away from the mundanity of yesterday, behold, let me have your attention. You want to understand what behold means? You have to read the book of Acts that Peter and John were on their way to get beautiful at the hour of prayer. The Bible says they saw a man who, had, who was seated there for a long time, lame. And the man was begging for arms. Let me show you what behold means. And Peter said, look on us. Let me have your attention. And the Bible says, Peter fastening his eyes on him said, look on us. Verse 5, now, and he gave heed. That's what it means to behold. He gave heed to them expecting to receive. He gave heed to them expecting to receive. To receive an instruction, to receive a blueprint, to receive a pathway. When he says behold, it means I need your attention, spirit, soul, and body. I'm about to deliver something to you that your destiny depends on. Behold. This is a prophetic word. There are many ways God tells us to behold. He will start showing you a certain dream within a certain season. It is him saying, behold, let me have your attention. You've been too distracted. But right now there is something that your ministry needs to do. There is something, there is a formula coming from heaven that spells your dominion for the next 10 years. Behold. Behold, God is speaking to someone. Behold, the next 10 years will not be like the last 10 years. Behold, have you received the prophetic blueprint for business? Have you received the prophetic blueprint for ministry? Have you received the prophetic blueprint for politics? Have you received the prophetic blueprint for that which God is doing in your family? Behold, behold means let me have your attention. For some of you, it's taken you two years to behold. Because one moment you want to focus and then you remember. Do you know that you can behold for a short time? He looked at Peter and Peter fastened his eyes on Jesus. And he said, if it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. While he was focused, he kept walking. But the Bible says the waves. You would think because you are beholding, the waves should stop. They will still be there. But your ability to look away from them and unto Jesus. The waves are and the vicissitudes of life have distracted people such that they stop beholding the reason why he brought that dream last year was because he was trying to get your attention do you not know you are a great prophet do you not know you are a great apostle do you not know you are a great intercessor do you not know there is a kingdom financier within you do you not know that is a portion of God's program that has been committed to you but God is calling you to behold do not play with this word it takes a long time for God to get men's attention go and read your Bible there are few men who God got their attention in a moment for instance you know how long it took God to negotiate with Abraham until he believed God finally God had to invent a strategy to get Abraham to believe that he would become the father of nations you would think just because he was Abraham he believed no study and read your Bible one night God had to call him and said Abraham count the stars he tried counting and he lost count. Try again. He tried counting and he lost count. He said, the same way you have lost count, that is how your seed will be. And the Bible says, finally, Abraham believed God and it was credited unto him for righteousness. You know how long it takes for God to get the attention of men? There are people who it will take decades for God to finally call them and say, do you know from age five, the dream you started having was me calling you and you are finally saying yes to me at 55. 50 years to behold. 
So don't you play with this word. When he says behold, he's not just saying use your optical eyes. It takes a level of focus that only God can give to look away from situations and circumstances and to behold. But there is a miracle in beholding. One of the miracles is that as we behold him, we are changed. Hmm. As we behold him, we are changed. Please listen. Listen, let your heart be open to understand what I'm teaching you tonight. The challenge with many people and the reason why it looks like God is not doing so much with you is because you have not mastered the art of beholding. Beholding can take a long time. Beholding can take a long time. Do you realize, ladies and gentlemen, that all that happened to the disciples for three and a half years was their ministry of beholding. They were beholding as they were being changed. Lecture after lecture. Beholding does not just mean see. Sometimes beholding can mean stop what you are doing now for the next five years. That is the price of beholding. Sometimes beholding can mean relocate to another city and remain there until I come to you. Beholding has a serious implication. It can mean suspend what you are doing for now. No matter how productive it is, there are few people who can behold. Is someone learning? Behold can, means, can mean that God can give you a, an instruction and say instead of giving 10% or 20% of all your earnings for the next one year, for you it is 80% every, there is something I want to teach you that will evolve you into the financial apostle that I'm programming you to become. Beholding is not just your ears. Beholding is not just your eyes. Beholding is your heart and your life. And because the spirit of God does not struggle with man indefinitely, you have a choice to be so distracted that you distract his presence away from your life. He will respect you. He will honor you. But the danger is that you will be losing relevance through a season that is coming. Hallelujah. There are many sermons that have come out from beholding more than studying there are many songs that have come from beholding more than studying there are many mantles that have rested upon people what was the price to carry elijah's mantle if you can see me not if you can talk you become a talkative while i'm rising you will remain there and the prophets the sons of the prophets were talkatives but they did not know how to behold here was a man who said i need something a double portion he said ah my dear son you have asked a hard thing but if you can see me was he not looking at him and the bible says suddenly he saw a chariot of fire that came to carry him and he, he stood there focused while he was standing there the sons of the prophet were shouting distracting doing all kinds of things he he remained focused and that mantle fell upon him he said my father my father the chariots of uh, the chariots of of horsemen and the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof and that mantle fell upon him he carried it and went to the jordan and he said where is the lord god of elijah and he he, he struck the the mantle and the jordan parted hither and thither Proximity does not necessarily mean you are beholding. How many of you know that there are people who can be so worried their position is to look at you? Someone can literally be looking at you like this and that is a sign that he has left you because he's so distracted. He's just thinking, this fuel now, this issue now. And yet the person is looking at you and you will think that the person is looking at you, it means that he's giving you the attention. And the person is thinking of something far away from church. Behold. Ah, very powerful word. So remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Next instruction. Behold. Behold. See. Dedicate your life and your destiny. Be prepared to receive. Be prepared to understand. Be prepared to be engaged prophetically.